Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Now I am very, very happy that I finally finished building the Hogwarts micro scale castle. Now this set took me ages to build because I just had a lot of things to do in between, but here it is. It's finally finished. It comes with a whomping 6,020 pieces and retails for $499.99 in Canada or $399.99 in the United States of America. Now this set actually came out in 2018 which makes it three years old as of 2021 and it begs the question is it still worth it compared to the other things that we have in 2021 and 2018 up until 2020 well let's find out now this set is actually a micro scale which means that the minifigures are super super tiny and it is built to capture all of the detail that Hogwarts has to offer. Compared to the 2018 and 2020 set collection that I own which I think is awesome and that collection retails for $509.95 making it $9.95 more expensive in the Canadian currency compared to the micro scale castle that we have here and honestly I do prefer the micro Skill Castle over the other set collection. I actually prefer seeing all the detail captured in one model compared to having them stretched across a couple buildings for Hogwarts. It's just really awesome seeing everything in one single set and it looks gorgeous. And as for 2021, I'm sure most of you guys are aware based on my reviews and all the news and stuff like that, that the Lego Harry Potter set collection of 2021 has been released and is now available to purchase in stores for $284.96. Now that is the price of the entire collection. Once again, I feel like that combining all those sets together makes it look rather chunky and not really satisfying to look at, if you will. I would much rather stare at the micro scale hogger castle forever rather than seeing the combined 2021 sets but i guess that's just me and of course preference varies per person with all that being said i believe that the micro scale castle is definitely worth it in 2021 but i guess we can hop right into the actual detailed look of this set and i'll just explain why it's so awesome First of all, we have some very, very stunning rock work and grass work going on on the outside of the castle. I guess that's the base for the castle itself. And we have some amazing mosaic effect going on for the Great Hall portion of the castle with a very detailed roof and of course some very tiny very cute floating dementors in the micro scale form and i just feel like that the cones of the castle like the roofs of the castle have been nailed on the head with accuracy and detail and the overall structure of the great hall looks very very stunning and i do love how everything is packed in tightly and very nicely and as you can see there the entrance to the great hall is actually a sticker and we have stickers going across as well for the clock portion as well and you know stickers are a very common trend for this set and harry potter sets in general and moving on we have the primary tower of the hogwarts castle which i think has been built very very nicely and of course we have the hungarian horn tail just chilling there because i guess why not <laughs> And going down there, we have these little transparent pieces meant to show off the actual windows of the Hogwarts castle. I love the round architecture of this. Chamber of Secrets sets for 2021. Take notes, please, because clearly you've been slacking off in class. Very, very cool there for the micro scale castle. Again, we have some really awesome rock work. And this little arced entryway of the castle there. That connects to a very nice tower there as well and you can see that we have a primary bridge there that connects both sides of the castle together and i feel like that the detail there is fantastic again with the rock work and the little trees very very cute to look at and i feel like that lego actually nailed the round architecture for each of the castle towers which makes it so satisfying to look at and again we have the mosaic windows and some very nice window detailing and the center portion of the size down clock tower with of course some color going on there for the mosaics and the sticker door once again a nightmare to apply trust me on that one that connects to the bridge there as well and in general just a very nice aesthetic another little bridge there and of course the beautiful gray roofs which works so well for this now the bird's eye view of the castle looks so so cool and accuracy wise it literally screams 
perfection. Now let's take a look at the house founder minifigs included in this really awesome set. First of all, we have the King Salazar Slytherin looking awesome, Helga Hufflepuff next, Rowan Ravenclaw, and Godric Gryffindor. Now I feel like that the house founder minifigs look phenomenal, and they are very much a highlight in this set. And of course, we have a grand total of 27 micro figures included in this set, some greater than others, if you will. I figured I would focus on my favorites, Bellatrix the Strange, looking pretty awesome in micro form. And of course, Lord Voldemort. Can't leave him out there because it's really cool. And moving on, we have a very tiny Hagrid's hut build, looking pretty awesome with Aragog there, just chilling. It's a pretty cool build, fits in with the rest of the castle. And you can really see, compared to the size of this, to the rest of the castle, that it really is micro scale. And of course we have the Wamping Willow Tree there that can actually spin, quite satisfying. And it also comes with a mini Fort Anglia. Now that we have the outside and the figs out of the way, let's take a look at the inside of the castle because trust me, you will be in awe. <laughs> if you haven't seen it already, it looks really, really cool. And I feel like I'm going to just break this down and take my time with this. So yeah, first of all, we have the interior of the first portion of the castle. We have the Gryffindor common room. Boo-hoo, Gryffindor, where's Slytherin? <laughs> and then if you move to the side there, we have the library build, which is quite small, but I guess it works for micro scale, of course. And the Zayek peeking through. The doors can actually open there as well. Pretty awesome. And in the bottom, we have the dungeons. Pretty awesome to see. And of course, Snape's classroom. My favorite part to build in this entire set was Snape's classroom. Honestly, it was really fun and really colorful with all the potion bottles and stuff. And from the outside, we have some more rock work, some more trees, some more very well put together tower builds. Now, of course, on this side, we have the Mirror of Erised. And at the top there, we have the little bridge there going on, connecting parts of the castle. And up there, we have Professor Umbridge's little office, all pink, cute, and cuddly, I guess. Not really. And a sticker that says the Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. That's right, guys. Beware. And of course, we have the Defense Against the Dark Hearts classroom with some really awesome stickers. I really love the Thestral Skeleton sticker there. And of course, the little floating Cornish Pixies. Really cute to see. Moving on, we have the little Wizard's Chess build there for one of the seven challenges. And of course, we have the Winged Keys, and that little paintbrush is supposed to be Harry's broom. <laughs> and things keep getting better as next up, we have the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets, which is a sticker. Yay. Now, taking a detailed look at the primary tower of the Hogwarts castle, we are greeted from the inside by Dumbledore's office, of course, naturally so. It's pretty cool. It's all just stickered up with all these portraits and stuff like that. And below it, we have a golden phoenix statue. And right beneath it, we have the girls' bathroom with a moaning myrtle sticker. It looks pretty cool just floating there. Again, it's a sticker, kind of lame, but who cares? And right below, we have a staircase that can actually rotate and another one there. They're all covered with stickers in the back as well and of course once again the chamber of secrets entrance now speaking of the chamber of secrets we now have the actual chamber of secrets featuring the basilisk try saying that five times fast pretty cool i personally think that the head of salazar slytherin looks kind of creepy and scary here maybe it's because i forgot to add the uh <laughs> tiling there i'll have to look into that but Oops, oh my god, I can't believe it. And we have the Great Hall dining area featuring Slytherin and a really cool interior design. I'm once again featuring the mosaic and stickers, flames, the seats for the Great Hall. I mean, Slytherin is the most important house, so yeah. And I just feel like that the build of this looks very, very cool. And even from the top there, everything fits together so nicely. The inside is so colorful and so satisfying to look at. And in my opinion, this set lives up to today's standards and exceeds it, honestly, compared to the other sets that we're getting these days. So there we go. Well, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I hope you guys will actually consider getting this set because it is so, so cool, and I truly mean it. And on that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.